Today I'm going to show you what Northeast Florida beaches, especially in Flagler County, look like after Hurricane Milton. Thanks so much for watching today. My name is Kathy Sanders and I'm a beach fishing guide here in Northeast Florida. And it's my job to know what these beaches look like, especially after we have a major hurricane or something that comes through that impacts it like Milton did. So today my husband Andy and I are going out to the beaches. We're going to take a look at everything. We're going to see what beaches might be closed. We're going to see what type of damage. Uh, if you can get your fishing cart out there or if you're safely going to be able to get your family out on the beach, which ones you want to go to. So keep watching. While we're driving, I just want to take a few minutes to show you just how powerful this storm was. We're in Palm Coast on the east coast above Flagler Beach area. We're south of St. Augustine and we were far away from where Milton made landfall, well north of where it exited too. As you can see from these videos, we had serious winds and rain with Milton. Thankfully, we had minimal damage to our property, just a fence blown out, and a dead snake in the backyard. I know, that's weird. Unfortunately, there's many who did not fare so well, and they're still dealing with power outages, major flooding, streets that have been washed out and uh, covering the roads and everything. On top of that, there's people who lost everything because of Helene just a week prior to when Milton came through. So uh, our prayers are going out to those people continually. Our house is about 15 minutes inland. It was calm at home, so we headed out to check a few areas. As we were driving, we saw limbs down all over the place and debris littering the roads in many areas. We got a ton of rain, so there was water getting close to or covering the roads. And in some places, the roads were totally submerged. Bing's Landing had major flooding at the boat ramp, and the water was all the way up to the fence at the parking lot. Next, we headed over to the ocean to see what 15-foot waves and storm surge looked like. Here's what we saw at Varn Park, and there were still two more hours until high tide. Next, we made our way down to Flagler Beach, and you can see just how high those waves were coming up on the pier. So I waited till today when the waves aren't supposed to be quite so high anymore to get out and check the beaches to make sure anything that was like causing major damage was already over and done with. Right now we're heading to Crescent Beach and then we're going to make our way all the way down the coast through Flagler County. So keep watching. First stop is Crescent Beach. Coming over the walk over. That's some pretty sunrise. Look at all the seaweed. Wow. There's a bunch of seaweed washed up. That is, this is gonna smell bad in a few days, all the seaweed. Man, look at that. But everything's pretty much intact though, other than all this seaweed. There might be some good shells though mixed in with all of that. Look at that, as far down as you can see. Yeah, rough surf, but this beach looks okay. Right, we're here at Matanzas Beach. Look at how far the seaweed came up here. Wow, one hour until low tide. So this is just gonna keep coming up higher today. You can see this came all the way up to the, all the way up to the dunes. <laughs> you can tell it came up here, almost washed this whole dune out. Wow. And there's some exposed rocks here. I've never seen rocks at this beach. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed those before, but... And there used to be a big post right here. <laughs> Where did the post go? It's gone. Look at these rocks. There's like exposed rocks. So yeah, that's new. Okay, we're checking out Marineland Beach and they've got little food trucks over here with tables and chairs and uh, there should be, there's some tables and chairs up here, but look at all this sand got washed up onto the boardwalk. <laughs> wow. It's all sand, but there's all the little tables and chairs. Let's see what the beach looks like. Um, it, it wasn't that rocky. Yeah, so the rocks are worse. Even all these, there's more exposed rocks than there were before. This is loose. Man, still a ton of seaweed. Look at all that foam. <laughs> there's like, you can like take a bath in that foam, not that you would want to. 
look at there's even more exposed rocks than there have been in the past. And down there, in front of that rock wall, there's not usually rocks that I've noticed before in front of the rock wall. See all those? It's usually just sand. This is like pushed all the sand up onto the steps. You can see where this all came up. Okay, we're gonna try to pop off at uh, Washington Oaks there by the Oceanside part and uh, that is completely blocked off. So we won't be stopping there. That part is closed. We're on the way down to Bay Drive Park and we got a bunch of fences down all the way down. Boom, boom, boom. There's even more fences down over here. And here we are in the park and it's really, really rutted. Wow, it wasn't this rough before. Here at Bay Drive Park and it looks like maybe the bathroom's flooded or something because they got some big hoses and stuff down there. We do got a lot of sand washed up on the boardwalk, but the dunes seem to hold up pretty good here. Still got a bunch of seaweed that washed up. It looks like it came up to the dunes where all this vegetation grew, has grown and then it just kind of stopped it there. Maybe it rolled over the top of it. There used to be stairs at the end there that's kind of washed up, so we do have a ramp. There's just a bunch of sand washed up on the uh, corner there. You'd have to get around that with your beach fishing cart. But yeah, Bay Drive Park, not too bad. Okay, we came up to Malacampra Beach and we actually can't go in there because they've got the whole road blocked off. So we don't know what kind of damage is going on there, but we cannot get into Malacampra Beach. That is closed. Coming up on Old Salt Park. Oh wow, they've got sand blocking. <laughs> so we can come in the parking lot, but we can't get out to the beach. Look at that, they've got the beach area closed off. We're here at Jungle Hut and the parking lot is once again flooded. The bathroom is flooded. So we won't be able to get out that way. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. We do still have some people parked here to get to the beach, but most of the parking lot's all flooded out. So they do have a um, big pile of sand here. So we can't get a cart out but I just want to see what the beach looks like. Wow, yeah, we got cliffs. We got cliffs over here. And lots of seaweed. Look at that, yeah. Water carved it right out. We're coming up to low tide, but it looks like some of the sand came out and washed, covered up some of the rocks. We do have some rocks there, but hard to see with this much. Right, we're here at Barb Park, and we were here the other day when they had the 14 foot waves and it was washing all the way up here, but look how far that this has eroded, the waves eroded back into the renourishment that they did a few years ago. Still got seaweed everywhere. Brought the, the coastline back even further. Wow. A lot of seaweed. Well, this post got knocked right over. Crazy. Oh, we got a cliff. Uh, until this gets fixed, we won't be able to get a cart down here. We could probably get it down, but we would have a hard time getting it back up. Wow. Look how much this is dug into the side here. Um, the sad thing is that we had a lot of turtle nests and I don't see any sign of them at all. Hopefully they're all hatched by now. I think it's August, September that they normally get done hatching. So, But I did see some uh, still staked out before the storm. But other than that ledge, once that gets even out from people coming in and out of the beach, then we can actually get back down here with a cart down here at Beverly Beach. And I did notice over here with the camp town, it's one of those little uh, trailers that came off of the foundation right there. Can't go past here. Let's see what's going on here. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, the end of it got washed out. You've got this uh, foundation here all exposed in the end of the ramp here. We were here Thursday, and that was still there. And it's got washed out since then. I don't know how many times they've had to redo this walkway. Well, here, Beverly Beach is a no-go if you're going to be fishing. Because you can't get out to the beach. So we're driving down here to Flagler Beach, and they actually have the main road closed off here coming down. It looks like we can come back onto it down at um, Route 100. Okay, we've made it down to Flagler Beach and there are tons of seaweed. Look at this. It's really bad. I like that they made this new walkway here to get down to the beach. Whew, man, it smells really bad. Looks like we probably could get our cart out here. Um, but that's jagged over there. Just so much seaweed. Wow, I haven't seen piles and heaps of seaweed like this in a long time and a lot of foam. So, yeah, this is what Flagler Beach is looking like, guys. So we got another road closed. So we're gonna take a little detour. We're coming back out to A1A. Look at all the sand on the road. Wow. Yeah, I guess they're working on getting this all cleaned up. We got a lot of this beach renourishment sand just got washed over the dunes and onto the road. So here we go. We're here at Gamble Rogers, a little north of the water tower. And we can't get out to the beach because they've got it closed off. This is a utility vehicle. There's no power right now, so uh, we can't get down to see what the beach is looking like because it's closed off. But um, So yeah, Gamble Rogers is a no-go for right now. And if you haven't been down to this area where the water tower is, they are rebuilding the seawall. So they're in the middle of this big project. All right, we're coming up on High Bridge Road. The parking area here that's across from High Bridge Road, and it looks like that is good to go. We're here at Michael Crotty Bicentennial Park, and as you can see in front of me, the pedestrian sign is down, and they have closed this beach access area. So uh, for right now, Michael Crotty Bicentennial Park is not open for beachside activities. Well, that was our last stop that wraps up this um, review of all the beaches and the damage that was done during Hurricane Milton. Uh, I'm not going to go further south. Uh, I did notice, though, the water seems like it's coming up really close. So that might be another reason that it's closed because um, it's almost low tide. It's just after low tide, and that's already, like, I don't know. We can't see it because we can't get across to the beach over here but just want to say thank you for watching this video if you are from out of town and you're going to be going into the water please be careful because there could be debris and palm trees and two by fours and things like that floating around the water we don't want your kids getting hurt so uh, be aware of that as you're out here on the beach from another state but thanks so much for watching tight lines god bless